Okay, so here I've got ash girl. That's four pounds. And uh, what I did is I've cut the ash gut and later I uh, scraped the ash gut. Now and it is ready uh, for me to start with the recipe. And so first of all, uh, I've taken a big white pen and in that I've poured all this veggie. And so, so now I'll wait till this cooks fully and it's ready for me to add all the other ingredients so it has to be fully dried and then we'll get back to you and here i've got a wooden spatula my husband has carved out of a wood plank and it's special okay so here now i've added two tablespoons salt okay so friends this process will take at least 15 to 20 minutes and after the water gets evaporated i will be back with you to show how uh, we will prepare the kualachi dosh so friends here i've got one tablespoon green cardamoms just peel them off now here I'm going to separate the pill and we'll make a fine powder of this green cardamom. Okay, so as you can see now the uh, water has evaporated and there's no moisture left behind. So now at this point I will add sugar. So uh, the quantity uh, of the ash guard is 4 pounds and so the sugar also will be 4 pounds. So equal portion. Now sugar has melted. It's moist again and it will take lot of time. After adding sugar, it will take 15 minutes. We'll have to stir like this and then we'll add semolina. For now, we'll wait till it's 15 minutes and it's nice and dry. So for this, my husband is helping me with this work because it's really hard. So besides kumulia dosh, we have done chana dosh also here. And I've uploaded this video last year so you can always watch my channel and you will find the chana dosh as well so in 15 minutes uh, we are adding green cardamom powder that's one tablespoon and so it goes in here and then keep on stirring continuously as it will bubble up and it's not safe at all. Doing dosh is not very easy. It needs good stamina. So after adding the uh, green cardamom in 5 minutes we are adding the grated coconut and that's 2 pounds. This is the one. Two pounds in here the same process of stirring it now the water has evaporated and it has thickened right now now at this point you can see it's almost dried up and uh, so I'm going to add semolina now. That's two cups. So two cups semolina in the pan. Then we'll have to go on stirring continuously. And now in two minutes I will add 
टू टेबल स्पून प्योगी इट्स गन टेक अ वाइल नो दिस इज द टफ स्टेप एंड वन मोर टेबल स्पून Now all you have to do is when it comes to thickness just add 4 tablespoons pure ghee and we are almost done so another 5 minutes to go so another 2 minutes until it forms a dough almost closer to that point So all this credit goes to my husband for helping me in doing this dosh. It's really hard work, I can say. So okay, now in five minutes, uh, you can see the it has formed like a dough. Now the one minute to go, and we're done. Okay so here you can see this is the correct texture wow there's a good fragrant here and it looks really yummy and here we go we'll switch off the heat and we are done okay so i'll take you to the place we are going to place the dosh on the flat surface the pyogi is a flat surface like this and now the dosh will uh, come here so we'll have to tap it on the flat surface like this up in a little pyogi take a rolling pin and then roll the dough like this has to be evenly flattened well so here is how uh, we have flattened the dough Okay so friends you can see uh, the kolachi dosh is now ready and it's so sweet so yummy and so delicious it's really come out awesome so i will enjoy kolachi dosh you guys go ahead and please try this recipe at home and please uh, share like and subscribe thanks for watching